I have a little OXO scale here. Been a nice little scale. The problem, it keeps turning itself on and off and on and off. But if you leave the batteries out for a while, it might turn on okay and run for a few seconds. Then it's back to on and off and on and off. There you go. That's what it'll do until you take the batteries out. Maybe a bad connection, maybe something in the power delivery, or maybe just the switch even though it feels just fine. But I suspect corrosion will be the most likely problem. I'm sure taking it apart will be fun. Everyone has to hide the screws. At least the sticky tape is staying with the feet for the most part. Should be able to just stick them back on. Still feels like a screw left. Four isn't enough for them. Can't tell if that's molding or a screw. There it is. I'm beginning to believe that putting screws under labels is some kind of psychosis. It's loose. How about that? Never knew that popped off. That sure will help with cleaning. Looks like two screws holding the plate to the load cell. Okay, not a lot there, but can check the wires and the little PC board. Nothing in the base looks like the problem, so gotta get into the heart of the beast. Doesn't seem to be plastic clips holding it together. Feels like a screw at each end. But where they could and should hide it under the feet, they don't. It's really loose in the center, but really tight as get close to the end, and then back to loose at the very ends. Sure feels like it's screwed together. I hope they didn't hide the screws under the plastic membrane. Oh wow, that is ridiculous. But at least the sticky stayed with the plastic and it didn't tear so I should be able to reuse it. And not just two screws but four. No wonder it didn't want to snap apart. Not much there, that's for sure, and I don't see any obvious corrosion. I'm going to take a resistance reading on the switch to start with. There doesn't look like much of a power section, and it isn't really acting like a bad connection. Well, that's a bit strange. Different open switch values. 2 megs, 300k, 40k. Definitely something wrong with that. I'll pull the switch out and see what I have.
Now that I have the switch out, it's reading fine. PC board looks fine, no corrosion or anything. I'm going to put the batteries back in and see what I get. I don't think it's a bad connection on a wire. I've pulled and pushed on them and it was still doing it. I've let it run a bit without the switch and it's done fine. Almost positive now, it's the switch. I'm betting the heat used to remove the switch opened up whatever was electrically leaking in it. Of course, none of my switches have the right length shaft, either too short or too long. But I can make the long one shorter, easier than making the short one longer. So I'll do that and give it a try. Well, still a bit too much sticking up. I'll just meld it down a bit. That feels about even. The switches I have don't have quite the click force that the old one had, but it should work fine. Time to put it back together. Getting these two little magnets back in place may end up being the hardest thing about this repair. Get the bottom screwed back in. May have to put a bit of glue or tape on the one foot, but that's not too bad. I'll make sure I get these two screws good and tight. All the weight is on them. Put the tray on and it looks good. Off when turned off. And staying on when turned on. Can't ask for more than that. Thank you for watching.